Welcome to the Crazy Head Chemist. So, another video on atomic structure and electron configurations. So, BAM! Today we're talking about the off-bell principle. Okay? So, with elements beyond Z of 10, then the off-bell principle is applied, which states as protons are added one by one to the nucleus to build up new elements, electrons are similarly added to the atomic orbitals. This explains the order in which subshells are filled not orbitals like Hun's rule. The subshells are filled first with lower energy possible. That is why the 4s orbital is lower in energy than the 3d. This helps in understanding ground state electron configurations. So there's a little table here. Let's give this one a try. Okay. So right over here are the values of n. That's the principal quantum number. I've got them going from the bottom to the top. Okay, and then here at the top row here, I got values of L. That is des designating the type of orbital. Okay, and then we're going to fill this in. Bam! Okay, so you should see that the 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s, 8s. Okay, and then um, L of 0 corresponds to an S-type orbital. So everything in the far left-hand row is an S-type orbital. That's why it's 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s, 8s, etc. Okay, and then the next column, vertical column, would be an L value of 1 that corresponds to a P-type orbital. So everything in that column is a P-type orbital. L of 2 is a D-type orbital. Everything in that column is a D-type orbital. And L of 3 is an F-type orbital, and everything in that column is also a uh, F-type orbital. Now, I've only included some of the ones that are potentially possible here. We don't have any 8S orbitals on our periodic table, but that's okay. Okay. Um, some people, if you look at it online, you'll see this in the form of a Christmas tree, and you kind of turn this on its side, and it's kind of looking like a Christmas tree. But here's how it's filled. So you're going to follow these arrows from the base of the arrow to the tip of the arrow, base of the arrow to the tip of the arrow. So you're first going to fill in the 1s orbital. Then after that, then you're going to go to the 2s orbital. After the 2s orbital is going to be the 2p, then the 3s. Then after the 3s is going to be the 3p and the 4s. After 4s is 3d, 4p, 5s. After 5s is 4d, 5p, 6s. After 6s is 4f, 5d, 6p, 7s. And then after 7s is 5f, 6d, 7p, and 8s. That is the order of the filling, and that is the off bell principle. Okay, we're going to be applying this to um, the other elements that we have here when we do some more electron configurations and orbital box diagrams, so you'll be able to see this applied. All right, I am the Crazy Hat Chemist, and here is another Crazy Hat. Got this from another teacher here. Um, this was from one of his uh, conferences that he went to for Cisco. If you like that video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I greatly appreciate that, and I will see you next time for more cool chemistry videos. Woohoo!